Hello and welcome to Frightfully Forgotten Horror Movies. And today we're not going to tackle a movie, but many movies <laughs> yeah. and things in general in regards to cover art. Cover art, movie posters, even novel covers aren't what they used to be. So it's like, what the hell happened to cover art? Yeah. It, it used to be an art. It was art, like literally going back to like the 30s and shit, it was art. And they're highly sought after nowadays yeah. because of that, right? Yeah, because of that. It wasn't just a picture of somebody. It was someone took time to paint this image to promote this thing. Sad to see that it really hasn't gotten better since like, what, the late 90s? It's almost like we're at the bottom. It can't get any worse. Yeah. Because that shit doesn't even really exist anymore. Most of the time you don't even buy physical media nowadays. Tubi, I think, being the outlier where you actually go on Tubi and you look, the image to promote the movie is usually, in most cases, the actual original movie poster. Yeah. Usually. But say you go on Netflix or Prime, it's just a snapshot of the movie mm -hmm. with the movie's name over top of it. A shitty thumbnail. It's no longer a piece of art. Yeah, and they usually take like the main character, main actor yeah. or whatever to sell the movie. Just a screenshot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tells you nothing about the movie. So let's take a stroll throughout the years here and take a look back at like say, for example, you mentioned in the 30s, right? Yeah. All those old 30s universal monster movie posters were awesome. Yeah. I have the Creature from the Black Lagoon poster in my rec room over there. Mm -hmm. Like, that's how good they were, where it's a piece of art you can hang on your wall. Yeah, yeah. And it's a talking piece, too. Yeah. On top of that, right? Look at how the colors pop. Look at this. There's so many things to talk about and discuss. An actual painting. Yeah. Like, a, someone painted this thing, like... Uh, just Deliverance, I got Deliverance holding that yeah. gun, like that awesome painting. And then you get into the 80s, that's when movie posters really took a yeah. fucking, like it, it got really good, mostly between horror and fantasy. Like take Labyrinth for example, right? So the cover for the VHS tape, the original. And the movie poster. Yeah, is awesome. It's like, a, it's a painting. Yeah, like I'd love to have that on my wall. I have this in my wall in my office at work. <laughs> and then you compare it to a release the that's what, the year 2000 or The so? re-release, which was also <laughs> the DVD release too. I don't have the DVD version of this, but what kind of cover is this? Yeah, why did you change it? It's Just like a bunch of random pictures of the movie. It's like, well, that doesn't excite me at all. I don't want to, I don't really want to watch the movie based on that. No, but based on this, it's something totally different. You know, all those fantasy movies in the 80s had awesome movie covers. Even the worst movies mm -hmm. had awesome movie, co all those like Deathstalker. Yeah. All those awesome paintings, you know, like that shitty David Carradine movie. <laughs> yeah, super strong and ripped. Yeah. He's obviously not that at all. And, and the great thing about those movies were, is like most of the time they were actually being misrepresented. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah. They, they, they overdid it with the art. Yeah, so then you want to see the movie. And then you read the movie and it's like, ah, it's not so good. <laughs> yeah. But still the art was fucking awesome. Mm. And you bought it based on the art. So it's like art no longer sells the product, the product right? anymore, yeah, right? Yeah. And like there's some good examples too. Like, so you take like Frankenstein even. This was like so 1984. That's a wicked cover. It's a that's an awesome cover of a Frankenstein movie. Even Chud Even Chud 2, a Chud piece of 2. shit like Chud 2. Has a pretty wicked cover. Like I really want to watch this based on this fucking cover. I know it's not going to be that good. Yeah. And that's the thing is like a lot of uh, shitty movies back in the day, straight to video shitty movies had to have the best artwork possible to yeah. sell the movie. Yeah. To grip you in. Because why else would you rent something you've never heard of before? Why, why would you grab that off the shelf? Because the cover is fucking awesome. Yeah, there was no internet back in those yeah. days, right? So something had to grip you in. You had to rent it based on cover art only because 
Let's face it, did we ever read the back of these movies? No, what was the point? Like, take Chud 2 for example. Well, geez, it's about a bunch of monsters coming out of the sewer. Good enough for me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, movies like um, The Video Dead. Mm -hmm. Amazing cover art. Yeah. Awful movie, <laughs> but you rented it because like, this, this looks fucking awesome. That's right, yeah. In another movie, like, awful movie, awesome cover, Garden of the Dead. Like, this is a hand painting. Yeah. Someone painted, took all this time to paint this for a shitty fucking movie. <laughs> yeah. And I love that, that so much work and effort was put into something like this. That's you know? right. Yep. There's love there. There's love within the shit. You just don't get that anymore. It's a type of quality you don't get. Another movie that we actually really don't like, but we love the fucking cover of, is Return of the Living Dead 2. Yeah, it's awesome. Awesome, look at the detail yeah. in this artwork, and it's amazing. Movie, movie. not so good. <laughs> the year 1996 hit with a movie called Scream, and this became the go-to. Yeah, like the benchmark for covers. All the way through. Yeah. How many movies have come out since Scream where this is the fucking cover? Just people standing there. <laughs> yes. Not even. In this case, not even in character. Yeah, they're just. It's just pictures. Skeet like they're Skeet Aldrich. Shots. Skeet Aldrich has some fucking mustache. Like that's not even yeah. his character <laughs> in the movie. Then you get movies like this. All these phantoms. Like this is people standing there. Urban legend. People standing there, yep. Mimic. All these yeah. shitty movies, just people, <laughs> even Lord of the Rings, it's just people standing there. Yeah. Boring. Doesn't make me want to fucking watch any of those. What yeah. happened to a good ass fucking painting? It's like everything else, it goes downhill, right? They're depending on the actors to sell the movie. That's what it is, yeah. Rather yeah. than the actual. The, yeah, the merit of the movie. The itself. plot or the art, right? Yeah. And then when DVDs came out and they started redesigning all the artwork, and it's like, well, what happened to the classic artwork I remember? Like, you go buy a movie on DVD, and it's like, this shitty re... It looks so re shitty. Reworking, like, The Nightmare on Elm Street. Like, what's this shit? Yeah. And then, like, yeah, like, and even a lot of these translate to the backs too like the back is the shits as well like what the f yeah what's that <laughs> uh, compared to like that classic like that sells the movie for me mm -hmm. not whatever this is garbage like i hate when they re-released all these dvds with the worst artwork on the planet yeah halloween great example of that classic yeah. poster the dvd release mm -hmm. One of many DVDs. <laughs> What's this shit? What the it's fuck? It's not even the actual mask. It's some shitty rendering of the mask. Yeah, some... What? I can't. The, the fact that I bought this is actually pretty <laughs> pathetic. <laughs> I've been holding off buying any of those. It wasn't all good back in the day. There were some shitty covers back in the day, too. You know, we're kind of painting with broad strokes here. Like, uh,. <laughs> Future Force with David Carradine, <laughs> not so good. <laughs> He's all got that shitty mechanical arm. <laughs> but there's also books too, right? I mean, this whole fucking downward trend has translated to books as well. So like you take a look, some of these older, older books that I've got, like Phobia, like that looks pretty cool. Um, there's this, Toy Cemetery. That's awesome. Yeah, that's pretty neat, you know? Death Coach. Like, that's awesome. That's fucking awesome. Like, that's cool. And then, you know, so you've got, like, the older style Pet Cemetery. That, uh, like, that is a fucking crazy work of art. Yeah, hardcover. That's kick ass. Yeah, like, that's wicked. And then the years start to go by and then you get shit like this, right? Where it's like, they can't even get the color of the car right. Not even fucking trying anymore. And like, this is one of the worst 
road work. Yeah, like this is what all modern books look like now. Like, it's just some picture. Just some like fucking random picture. Like what the fuck is that? Like a sign, a road sign. <laughs> what happened to... Yeah, like what happened? What happened to that? What, yeah. <laughs> from road, from shitty road work, from this, you know, it's like, how can you, there's no comparison. Yeah, so if you look, like, walk through a bookstore nowadays, this is kind of like how books look. Yeah, it's like, oh, it's not exciting at all. There's no effort put into the artwork. Clip art! They're yeah. using clip art to sell a fucking book. There's no love put into the poster art anymore you know nothing and the funny thing is with books is that it's like it's physical paper it's what a drawing goes on yeah. you know what i mean it, it's it, like it goes on paper yeah and th this is paper and you can't even do a fucking proper picture on the paper that the book is made on when ghostbusters afterlife came out and i picked it up that art is so bad first of all it's not art it's photoshopped. Mm -hmm. People's faces are photoshopped looking awkward like this. Like what the f you couldn't just take a picture of the movie or make like... a painting or something. Yeah. And even the new Ghostbusters movie, how many people can you fit on the fucking cover? Yeah, every single person. Every single person and you got to make them all big and small and then like a little bit of what the movie's about mm -hmm. down here yeah. as a footnote. Yeah. As opposed to, that's what the movie's about. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you know? yeah, and it's like you know exactly what they're, what they're thinking, right? Is that the actors are supposed to sell the movie nowadays? Yeah. But what I would have done for like, that Ghostbusters, put the antagonist at the top. Put the villain. Yeah, the yeah. villain, at the top, and he's, you know. He's destroys. He has his hands over the city or something. He's he's freezing the city. Yeah, it's like you don't need a gazillion actors. That this sells the movie. Yeah. What sell? The plot sells the movie. The villain is freezing the fucking world. Yeah, that's what the movie's about. Yeah, that's what should be selling it. Ugh. Yeah, it's sad how we've gone from like this <laughs> Forbidden Planet, something great. To just people standing around, <laughs> yeah. you know, and just shit like this. Yeah. It's like you're not even fucking trying. That's our little rant about the state of cover art and novel art and just promoting movies in general. It used to be an art. It used to be an art, and, and now it isn't anymore. Now it's Photoshop, which is yeah. you know it, it can Photoshop can be an art, but it's like. There's no creativity. It's just shoving a bunch of people. It's just making a collage out of people. Now computers are around. Well, we don't have to draw anything out. We don't have to do anything creative. Yeah. You just copy and paste a bunch of pictures here. Yeah. That's it. And there you go. So in five minutes, you've got a shitty ass poster. Yeah. Rather than somebody taking some real time and putting real love into something. Poster. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Let us know what you think of some of your favorite horror movie and fantasy posters. Yeah, maybe put some pictures in too if you guys can. There's uh, there's lots of our favorites we haven't even mentioned, but we're just using examples from like what's yeah here. Yeah. We're, yeah. Just, we're just literally ad living and grabbing shit as we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that's our rant. <laughs> Yeah, our drunken rant <laughs> about shitty posters and shitty times. Yeah, and I don't see it getting any better. I see it getting way worse with the uh, the phasing out of physical media. You're never gonna get that stuff again. I, no, I like it, it's yeah. It's a case in point, you know, we already mentioned Netflix, the yeah. shitty Netflix thumbnails. That's it's what we're going about at, you know. What we got, yeah. That's why I prefer Tubi. <laughs> yeah, this is the original poster art, and it's free. <laughs> Can't beat free. Until next time, keep drinking.